Hello, today I'm going to talk you through the installation and usage of the 3K3YS Ripper board. First up, I'll talk you through the components. Here we have your power for your Blu ray drive, micro USB, and the all important 3K3YS Ripper PCB. You'll notice there's a slight difference between this and the old one. As you can see, the old one just does part of as the new one does, parter for your fat, fat PS3s and then SATA, the smaller cable, for your slims. First up, I'll show you it being connected to a fat PS3 Blu-ray drive. Okay, first up you need to take your 60-way FFC you then connect that to the back of your Blu-ray drive blue side facing up Okay. You then need to plug that into the ripper board. Again, blue side, always facing up, upwards. Okay. Next up, you need to take your power cable and connect the smaller end to your Blu-ray making sure it's the correct way round okay once that's done you can then plug it into a power supply now this time a little bit different as I'm using an external Molex power supply just plug that in. Get everything connected, you should get a blue light. Next, take your micro USB cable and plug the smaller end into the board. The fat end to a spare port on your P on your PS on your PC. Okay, once that's done, PC will auto detect and it should install everything. Once that's done, you can then start the program and either install your keys, your BD keys, or as as now the three dump is not not required, you can go to select here, tools, settings. Check that, use default keys, but be warned this will remarry your PS3 drive. The set of default keys this will over overwrite the existing keys. Basically, it means once you do this, that drive is useless in your PS on your in your PS3. Okay. Once you've done that, you can then you can then rip rip games as normal. Next up. I'll show you the, connect, the connecting to a slim or SATA PS3 drive. Okay, this connects very much in the same way as the Parta or the FAT PS3 drive, except for one notable difference is that you need to use the cable that came with the Blu-ray drive. Okay, your original cable. Right, now take that cable, plug, plug it in so the blue side's facing up. Okay. Next up, you need to take your power cable, plug that into your Blu-ray drive, make sure it's the correct way around. You need to plug that into a power source. Like so. Everything's connected correctly, you should then get blue light and you can probably hear drive whirring away. Okay, you can now take your micro USB cable, plug the smaller end into your board, take the fatter end and then you can plug that into a spare port on your PC, to which you'll then get blue light and a red light. 
Once that's done, the PC should automatically detect and we'll start installing the drive onto your, onto your computer. Once that's done, you can then start your 3K 3Y Ripper program. Now, once it's done, I've already installed mine, so I've already got my keys on here. But all you need to do is if you've got a copy of your, of your 3Dump, you click on Load 3Dump, navigate to where, to where you've stored it, and load it in. Or, the same as the fat one, the fat PS3 drive, you can go to Tools, Settings, Use Default Keys. Again, be warned that it does remarry the PS3 drive with a set of default keys which you overwrite everything which means it's useless for your PS3 okay now all your keys are in you take your you can take take a game ripping works exactly the same as the last one so last time take a game insert that into your PS3 that'll automatically take it There you go, disc inserted, it's red, red, recognised it, so you click the top here, rip game, and then ask you where you want to save your IRD file, you could save this wherever you want, okay, put a, put a name for it, in my case, it's Batman Arkham City, Except I spelled Arkham wrong. Still spelled it wrong. And then click save. Then ask where you want to choose a location of the resulting ISO. It comes up with the name that you gave the IRD. Leave that same, change it if you want. Click save again. Then the whole ripping process starts. There we go. Let's leave that for a few minutes. I'm not going to show the entire process because I've done enough videos on ripping. I think you know how to rip by now. Um, that is basically it. Um, thanks for watching. Please feel free to rate and comment. Um, I'll probably see you on the next video, which possibly may be. PS3 facts working with no 3 dump. Thank you very much.